Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we're taking a look at this brand new 2023 Ford F450. This particular F450 is a Lariat model and it's finished in agate black metallic. Now for 2023, the Super Duty has received a brand new design. So this is the new generation Super Duty for 2023. And the F450 is one of the biggest trucks that you can buy. Uh, this is a very, very capable truck in terms of its towing and payload capacity. Now we're going to take a walk around this particular unit here and then we'll take a look into the interior We'll first start with the front end of the F450 Lariat model. We have the LED headlights, nice C-clamp design there with an LED fog light as well. We do have some satin chrome here on the front end as well as the uh, full chrome front bumper. Even get some uh, re recovery hooks in the front and the front parking sensor. So it's a fully loaded bumper. Front view camera system with the washer jet. And of course you do have your Super Duty stamping there on the hood. And powering this monster truck is a high output 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel engine, which puts out 500 horsepower and a whopping 1200 foot pounds of torque. So this is a class leading engine in terms of its horsepower and torque. So very, very capable. And that means the properly equipped F450 can tow up to 40,000 pounds, which is an extremely large number. You also have an 8,000 pound payload capacity. Again, it's, a, it's applicable to a very specific configuration of truck, but that is possible with this engine here. But we'll keep moving around to the side here of the F450. Now, one of the main differences between an F350 and the 450 is the wheel and tire setup. So this uses a 19 and a half inch wheel. It's actually a forged aluminum, so it's very, very strong. And the tire is also different as well. So this is what I use a lot actually on medium duty trucks as a highway tire. So very, very uh, thick tire, very heavy duty. Uh, it has a G load range with a 4,000 pound uh, loading rating. So it's again, very, very heavy duty and it's used exclusively for the F450s. It is a 22570, again, on the 19 and a half inch wheel. And now another main difference between an F350 and the 450 is actually the front axle. So the front axle on the F450s do stick out quite a bit uh, more than an F350. And uh, it's, its main benefit to that is actually the turning radius. So you actually have much sharper turning radius on the F450s versus a 350. So the, the front end does uh, have that wide stance, again, compared to that F350. Body colored fender, which definitely looks good. And you have the F450 with the glare rate badge in there, which again, this has been all redesigned for the new generation. We have the power scope tow mirror, which has the body colored uh, top there. And as a dual convex, you have the fisheye lens there on the bottom, which is definitely a must have for towing. You also have the camera right there. There's your power stroke badge and it's red because we have the high output version. If you have just the standard output, it is actually just black. But again, you have the, uh, the high output, so you do have the red little six, seven. Power deploy the running boards. Uh, they're currently in their down position, but they do fold up uh, to tuck nicely into the body. And this is a super crew model, so it's the full four door. And because it's an F450, it's only available in a dually, so you have to get the eight foot bed. Another change for 2023 is the bed side step. So you actually have a bed side step on every single Super Duty that has a bed. So it's actually can't uh, not get that. In addition to that, you have the bumper corner step. And there's your taillight design. And again, dually, extremely wide rear end. Of course, you have the dually setup back here, which is uh, greatly improves stability when towing. Same tire sizes up front. Chrome rear bumper, which does house the rear parking sensors. And we have the massive, massive class five hitch back here. Of course, you have your four and seven pin connections. This one has your adapter ready to go. And you have the marker lights down in the, uh, just below the tailgate, because again, this is an extremely wide vehicle. So this is classified as a commercial vehicle. So it is over 80 inches in width. So Ford does have to incorporate the marker lights there. But we'll pop open the tailgate, which is soft opening. You have the tailgate step. And this one does have a nice factory spray and bed liner. And of course your gooseneck and fifth wheel prep package. So you have the, your mounts for your fifth wheel and the, also the auxiliary connections back here. But now we'll take a look into the interior of this F450. Now being a Lariat model, we have the leather interior. So we have these gorgeous leather bucket seats that are fully power operated. They're also heated and cooled. So again, very, very comfortable. And this has the console configuration. Take a look at the door panel. 
nice soft touch leather all throughout. Again, uh, everything's power operated, of course. You have three-way memory, and there is controls for the power extending mirror. So you can use this to actually extend the mirror whenever towing a trailer, so you can kind of see uh, past it. Now this Larry is equipped with the ultimate package, uh, which includes a lot of stuff, but one of the main things is the sound system. So this has the 18 speaker Bang & Olufsen sound system, which is a phenomenal sound system. And again, that's included with Larry Ultimate. You have a bunch of controls here, your lights, you have power adjustable pedals, your electronic parking brake, which is actually another new change for 2023 is the electronic parking brake. So it's a very uh, loud, very, uh, very loud parking brake when it, uh, when it turns on. And of course it has to withstand 40,000 pounds of towing if you happen to use it. But we'll step inside here, take a look at the key fob, which uh, is keyless of course, and you have remote start and the trunk, or the uh, tailgate release, sorry, on there. Push button start. And all of your screens will come to life. So again, high output 6.7 liter power stroke, 500 horsepower, 1200 foot pounds of torque monstrous power these are these trucks are actually very quick uh, considering this truck weighs w w probably about eight thousand pounds so very heavy but again you have lots and lots of power on tap paired to the 10 speed automatic transmission uh, this is the 10r140 transmission very very heavy duty but we'll uh, move on to the steering wheel which is of course nice leather wrapped it's heated all of that we have the adaptive cruise control system with lane centering, as well as a bunch of other driver assistance features, uh, but those are two you have on the steering wheel. And then on the right side, we have controls for the fully digital gauge cluster, which is another new change for 23. You have the full screen here, which is fully customizable. You can control the heads up display, which you can maybe see uh, kind of in the distance there, you have heads up display, various different gauges, off-road information, towing status, all of that. So you can control all that with those buttons here and then some media controls below that. In the middle, this is the Sync 4 12 inch display. This is standard on uh, XLT premium and above. So this Lariat has the screen. You have a Sirius XM, satellite radio, navigation, everything included, all that. We also have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is definitely nice. All your various settings in there. Some of your features, which includes power running boards. So again, you can control the power running boards right there. Zone lighting, all your driver assistance features up top. 360 camera, and you can control all the various different views right there. You have your diesel engine brake, which you can set to either on or automatic. Pro trailer backup assist, trailer brake controller, of course, you need those, and then four wheel drive settings. So we have four high and four low. Uh, again, this truck has four wheel drive, and then your drive mode select right here in the middle, which you can change various different conditions. Dual zone climate control with your heated and cooled seats, heated steering wheel, wireless charger, of course, more plugins there. Everything is connected. You have a little hidden storage cubby that you can have. Nice storage down here as well with the integrated dual sliding cup holders. Nice leather wrapped center console. Of course, an enormous amount of storage. Nice super duty there on the upper glove box. And up top we have the six auxiliary switches as well as controls for the twin panel panoramic sunroof. Well, now we'll take a look into the rear seat of this F450. Again, this is the Super Crew model, so it's the largest and definitely most popular cab for the F450. But again, nice leather seats back here. And these are also heated as well. Uh, you have heated leather back here, which is definitely nice for uh, at least our Canadian winters uh, up here in Canada. Uh, you have a center armrest and these also do lift up. You have the flat floor with lockable storage, so you can kind of keep your valuables hidden away. This one has a bunch of different uh, accessories on it. We have the front grill for the, the grill cover. We have mud flops back here. We have hub covers, uh, floor mats, all of that. So the customer went crazy on this particular one. Bunch of outlets back here. You have an inverter outlet, USB, uh, 12 volt, again, in the heated seat control. So all of your controls there on the back of the console. And of course, we get a nice view of that panoramic center. But unfortunately, this particular F450 is a solid unit. But if you're interested in getting one just like this, you can give us a call or visit us at mcfeeford.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.